Hi guys, today I'm going to talk to you about my monthly favorites um, for, what month is it? <laughs> May. Gosh, I can't believe it guys, I can't believe that is almost June, finally summer is on its way, warm weather, <laughs> woo! <laughs> like I don't know about you but I'm happy and I have some beauty products, some fashion items, and a few other things to talk to you about so let's get to it. The first thing that I want to talk to you about is this um, Naked Reloaded palette. Now I love this. I know this came out um, a while ago actually. I think February it came out and I've just been using it ever since. Um, it's just a really gorgeous palette. I know Urban Decay discontinued. Let's focus. Discontinued their um, naked palettes and they came out with this one to replace it and while I do love the original one this one is also really quite nice there's a lot of great colors in here I love this one in particular boundaries I'm always reaching for this color I'm just more of like a warmer tone um, like kind of like an orangey color this one's really nice and then I kind of like the pink ones that they have in this one as well that they didn't have in the original. So yeah, this is a really nice palette. Lots of mattes um, and some also like shimmery sparkly ones as well. And I think it's just a really good variety of colors. So yeah, I really love this. Um, I'm trying to think the price of this. I think it was like 40 48 maybe. I don't know. Something like that. Anyway, just a really nice palette to have, um, and for daily use especially. So yeah. Um, another item that I've been loving, I've been loving Bare Minerals. A lot of their um, makeup I've been using and had really great su success with, um, especially like the, my skin. Because I have really sensitive skin, so Bare Minerals is very um, like pure and natural with their ingredients. And they don't seem to irritate me, which is nice. So... Recently, I've been using their, it's called Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. Here it is. It's just like a little wand, um, like this. I use this under my eyes and also like on my eyelids, kind of like as a primer for my eyeshadow. And then also on any blemishes I have. My skin has been breaking out lately, so... This has been coming in handy, and I just really like it. It's, it's kind of like a lightweight to medium coverage, um, and it doesn't like get in like your creases, like under in the creases of your eyes. I know co some concealers will do that, and you can like see where it's like setting in the creases, which is not a good look. Um, I've noticed that this doesn't do that, and it just really provides great coverage. I think, especially for like under eyes. Um, so yeah, I don't like anything too heavy either, and this is like the perfect amount of coverage. I think not too light and not too heavy. I also got it in the color, I think it's light. So yeah, and it matches perfectly with my skin. So yeah, it's a really great concealer. I think this was $22. So yeah, very, um, barely priced, I think. And then also from Bare Minerals, um, is this... I think they just came out with this too. It's the Bare Minerals Bare, Bare Pro Glow Highlighter. And this is a liquid highlighter. So it just like it comes with a pump like this. And you just pump it right out. Um, I usually put it like on the back of my hand and then just use like my finger and just like put it on like my upper cheekbone. I mean look at that glow. I'm wearing it right now. It is glowing. This could blind anyone. Um, this is also great for summer, I think, because in the summer I like to look more, like, dewy and glowy and <laughs> very, like, sun-kissed. I think that's a nice look to have in the summer. Um, even the makeup I'm wearing now, this whole look is, like, a really great summer look. I think I might do a tutorial on this look, so stay tuned. But anyway, um, yeah, super pigmented. I love this liquid highlighter because it is... Um, like easy to work with and of course more pigmented at least I think and um, it kind of just stays put um, also I will say one thing I don't like about this though is that 
when you do pump this out, sometimes too much comes out and you don't need all that, so it's kind of wasteful. But other than that, I think this is really gorgeous. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Whoa. Look at that glow. Um, and anyway, um, this is in the color free also. They come in, I think, two other colors. Um, and this was, I think, $29. So I think it will last a long time, too. I mean, pretty good size. So yeah, if you're looking for a liquid highlighter, I would suggest the Bare Pro Glow. Also from Bare Minerals is this Bare Minerals Gen Nude Blush. And I love this. This color is gorgeous. I have it on right now. I've been wearing it ever since I bought it. Um, it's really gorgeous, I think. Super pigmented also. This is in the color called My Blush. And look at that. It's kind of like a rosy... Um, like a rosy pink color. Um, it's more like a neutral color, I'd say. There's not too much, like, orange in it. But it's also not too... Um, like, too rosy, if you will. But yeah, just a great, like, neutral color. And it seems to go good with my skin tone. Um, so yeah, I like how it's a pressed blush, too. Because so, sometimes when you get, like, a loose blush, it can be messy. Um, and again, this hasn't caused any, like, breakouts or anything weird. So yeah, I highly suggest this if you're looking for a new blush. Um, this was, how much was this? I want to say around 25 maybe, maybe 22. I don't know, something like that. But anyway, really nice, super pigmented, um, beautiful color. They also had a bunch of other colors um, too, but I thought this one looked the best with my skin tone. So yeah. Now moving on to some lip products. Um, I love my lipsticks. And the first one is this Stilla. It's called the Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. Let's see that. I'm wearing this right now. And I think it's just gorgeous. I think it's great for summer too. It's kind of like a nude, but more of a cool tone nude. I think there's a little bit like purple in this, I want to say. Uh, like a purplish gray, kind of like mauve color. Um, I just think it's beautiful. I, just, I really love this a lot. Um, it's called Dolce, 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 or Dolce, Dolce, Dolce Vita. Dolce Vita. Yeah, we'll go with that. But anyway, um, again, it's the great liquid lipstick. Um, I do want to say that this isn't too, it's matte, but it's not too drying, which is great. It doesn't really settle in those creases in your lips, which some mattes do, and that's just not a good look. Um, this one isn't, um, yeah, it's not too drying. I mean, it feels like you have nothing on your lips, which is nice. Sometimes I don't like that tacky feeling. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend this. I do have the Stilla, um, this kind in another color. Um, I'm trying to think what color it is, but it's a lighter color, and that one I don't like so much, but this one, um, the formula is really nice. So, yeah, I highly recommend this if you're looking for a nude that's more on the cool side, with maybe like a touch of purple. So, yeah, it makes it fun and interesting, I think, for nude. Um, so, yeah, this is also 20, I want to say 24 maybe, $24. Um, I actually got this at TJ Maxx, or not TJ Maxx, Marshalls. I got this at Marshalls for like $6. <laughs> I know, crazy. If you guys want to find some liquid lipsticks like um, Stilla and even like Kat Von D, go to your Marshalls or TJ Maxx because they have these there and they're like crazy discounted. So yeah, that's where I got this and I'm very happy that I did because I want some more. For that price, I should have got like four or five of these. All right, now moving on to something a little more expensive. <laughs> this is the Bobbi Brown, um, gosh, what do you call this? 
Bobbi Brown Luxe Liquid Lip High Shine. This red is so pretty. Such a gorgeous red. I got this when I was in Nashville. Um, it's a bit of a splurge. This is $40, which I think is a lot for a lipstick. But this is definitely worth it. I mean, look at that. It's like the perfect red, I think. So bright, vibrant. Um, has a touch of pink in it, I think. But just, I think, the perfect red. Um, it definitely goes good with blondes. So if your hair is blonde, um, I think red lips go great with blonde hair anyway, but I think this one goes really good with my skin tone, my hair color, my complexion, I mean, just everything. Um, this looks great on. So, yeah, the formula, it does, it's not as matte as the Stilla one. This is, stays more tacky, um, so you can kind of feel it when it's, you're wearing it, um, but... I mean, I think it's just gorgeous. Gorgeous color. Um, this will stay on your lips, I've found, but you have to kind of like blot them. So like take a paper towel and like go like that just to get some of the excess off because it will start to bleed if you have too much on your lips. So yeah, my favorite red. All right, guys, now that's all the makeup. So let's move on to some fashion items. Um, First item I want to show you is, well, this Baker Boy hat. Now, I lived in this in, um, like, the fall and the winter. But now that it's spring and summer and slowly getting warmer, um, I want a different option because this is more of, like, a, a warmer hat. It's, like, what, is, what would you call this? Like, wool? I don't know if it's real wool, but it's, like, felt wool. I don't know. But I want another option for spring and summer. So I got this one, and this is Brixton. This one was ASOS, by the way, but this is Brixton. I got this on Urban Outfitters, and it's like a, um, what would you call this material? Like cotton? I don't know, like a cotton, but it's in like this kind of like olive color, which I think is really pretty. I think it will go nice with my hair, um, and then... It basically has the same kind of like detailing as this one with like the rope around here and then like the little like button things on the side but yeah this is definitely more lightweight than that one um much cooler material and this would even go nice with this shirt that i'm wearing yeah but anyway i love these baker boy hats um i love my berets too but yeah, I'm I'm a hat person, so if my hair isn't looking good one day, I can just throw a hat on and it, it solves the problem. So, yeah, nice hat. Um, I think this was like $40, $42, something like that. I got it on sale, um, and it was $32. So yeah, this was on Urban Outfitters. And also, I like the inside of it. It's like a maroon, like burgundy color, which I think is really pretty. And then another fashion item that I've been loving is these, 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 is camo. And, um, these are the few items I've been wearing lately. This is like a little camo, um, what do you call this? Overalls. And they're shorts. So yeah, great for summer. I wear like a little white tank top under this, white t-shirt, just whatever. Um, I love overalls, especially like shorts um, for spring and summer, obviously. Um, but yeah, I just think these are really cool. I love camo because I think it's just really like badass, it's edgy, just adds like a, I don't know. I mean, I'm a girly girl, sometimes I can't be. I like to get my hair done, my nails done, I like my jewelry, but sometimes I do like to look tough. And I just love camo, camouflage. So this is the way I've been wearing it lately in my little overalls, but also in these um, cargo pants. I love these so much. I wear these with like a crop top and um, they're like a cargo pant. I got these from Topshop. I know I featured these in my um, haul video. But yeah, these are so comfortable. Um, they're high-waisted. Um, but yeah, I, just, I love these. 
I don't know if I just said it or not, but these are from Topshop. Um, the overalls from ASOS, but those are old. I got those like last year. These are more recent. Um, but yeah, I, I love them. I love camo. It's also going to go with the hat. And then another um, item, excuse me, another item that I've been carrying around with me a lot lately is my little C by Chloe. I think this is called Olga, Olga backpack. And this is the small. I think they have like a small and then they have a medium. Is it? Or is this the mini and then they have a small? And then, I don't know. But anyway, this is the smallest size of it that they have. And um, I got this for my birthday actually in February. So yeah, I've been using this a lot since then. Um, just lately though, I've, just, I've been using it like almost every day. And it's in this gorgeous like maroon color, which is kind of rare for this bag. Um, it was hard to find, I will say. But I just love it. I love the gold hardware. And then you have like a little strap right here so you can wear it over your shoulder. But then you can also wear it like as a backpack obviously with these straps. And this you can also take this off too which is kind of nice. Um, and you can actually fit a good amount of stuff in here. Let's see what I have in here. I got my sunglasses um what else do I have in here a little coin purse um hundred dollar bill <laughs> bro I had that in there another hundred dollar bill we're just throwing hundreds around here um and then some ones <laughs> but yeah this is mostly just filled with loose money anyway um yeah here's the inside as you can see so yeah we'll fit a decent amount um and i just wanted this if i was like going like somewhere where i'm gonna be like walking around all day um like a festival or like an event or something where i'm gonna be on my feet all day and just want something to just throw on my back and not have to worry about like lugging around like a purse on my shoulder um, but yeah, this is really nice. It's a backpack, but it's also very sophisticated looking, obviously. Um, it's gorgeous soft leather. Um, but yeah, I like C by Chloe. It's a great alternative. Um, if you like the Chloe, um, backpacks. Oh, what are those called? I can't think of the name of them, but, um, I fell in love with those Chloe backpacks. Um, oh my god, but the price is just too much for me to afford but this is a really great alternative it's much cheaper much more affordable and I think just as pretty too I really love the style of this so yeah I love this I think this is around 475 I want to say but it's definitely worth it I think and that is pretty much all um, fashion makeup items I have to talk about. Um, I also want to mention some other things that I've been loving this month. Um, one of them is um, Californication, which is a show on Netflix. It's kind of an older show, but I just started watching it recently, and I really, really like it. Um, it's kind of like about, well, it's about this guy who's a writer, and he lives in California, in like Southern California, and he has a daughter but the daughter's mom is kind of like in the picture sometimes sometimes she's out of it um he is a womanizer so he's always getting with all these different women um and <laughs> it's very like there's a lot of sex in it so it's very it's very sexual so for mature audiences obviously but it's also really funny too um i don't know i've just really enjoyed it they're like 25 minutes long so, I mean, perfect for me. At the end of the day, I kind of, like, sit down and relax in my bed, turn that on, watch a few episodes. And, um, yeah, I've just really been enjoying it. Um, so, yeah, there are seven seasons to it. I'm on season three right now. And, yeah, it's, there's a lot of drama in it. It's funny. It's um, a bit raunchy. 
So, I mean, everything you could want in a shelf, <laughs> at least I think. Um, so, yeah, it was, it's an older show, like I said, 2007. And there are seven seasons, and it's on Netflix, so I would check it out. Um, another thing that I want to mention is Urban Outfitters. I've just been loving everything that they've had on their website. I mean, I, I get on that website almost every day, which I really shouldn't because I don't need any more clothes. But um, I just love this, the stuff that they have. I kind of go through phases of different um, stores that I like. Um, but Urban Outfitters right now is just killing it with their stuff. I'm actually just ordered some things a few days ago. <laughs> But yeah, they always have sales too, and that's been the place where I've been shopping lately for my stuff. So yeah, that wraps up this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I will link the items that I can down below um, if you're interested. So yeah, thanks for watching, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see some more from me, please subscribe. See ya!